Blue crab, y'all think know what I'm talking about? Sit in that line, waiting on the blue crab, right? And that person in front of you have the audacity to put so many blue crab on their plate to where they got to hold their plate like this, and then it's like hardly any there. And you just wanna, yeah, just loosen it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get this camera set up. All right, okay, so. Look at my cords out the way. I have my fan on the charger. Okay. Oh, so we have some chicken wings, some head on fried shrimp, crawfish. I'm hoping that um, they have some blue crab, but I have some Cajun corn. Because they have like a shrimp ball thing, and then I have some clams. I got some butter right here. I'm going to fix it up. Ooh, hold on. Okay, so I was gone for a long, long time. <laughs> I came back with these. I went to go get the lemon. And I got that. Yes. So, you know, y'all, I have a wrong punch. You can get margarita or rum punch from here this is um riverdale i think it's called new china buffet Ooh. oh let me see my dress again Man. okay so i didn't like this off <laughs> so this is what i do Okay, so let's dig in. I don't have oh, all let's eat. We'll talk later. Let's eat. Why did I grab a napkin? Why did I grab a napkin? I don't know. Oh, I'm trying to grab one. I do not like when you get it from the buffet and this, this corn is not hot. Uh-oh. Mm-mm-mm. That put that fat on it. Baby, when you eat this stuff, though, you really gotta play. Because this stuff don't be cleaned off. None of that. The, the, you know, I don't know. I'm not saying it isn't, but I don't think it is. This one is so good, baby. Where'd you go, baby? Mm. Yeah, my food ain't hot. But maybe because I stood at the thing so long. This is my wrong punch. I want to step. Sorry. <laughs> well, here you go, blue car. These are different kind of blue crab. I think these are the swimming crab. They taste totally different than the blue crab. Okay. 
But still same concept to eat them though. Same concept. Get this the short the short leg is the fattest, is the meatiest part. Mmm. But it ain't hot. But the meat be good. It's real soft. Like, it's really like soft shell where you can eat it. Man, I wanted to sit in the spot where the music is, so hopefully I can edit all this stuff out. Mm. Mm. You said the meat's so soft and just stuck it out. <laughs> so, never two. Mm. I'm just being greedy. I don't know why I'm acting like somebody said, ready, set, go. Mmm. <laughs> I'm trying to slouch down some. Maybe don't be no this in that. This is some of this. Oh, I'm getting full. I went to Walmart. But y'all know they had no pillows. No pillows. I'm still trying to get those king size pillows for my dad. For the bed. You know what I mean? So it'll make it be like a big cushion bag. Not the regular pillows. So I want king size pillows. Or body pillow. The thing about it though is that the set that I bought really calls for king size pillows mm -hmm. so um I don't, I don't know now honestly on the buffet these are my favorite these little fried they be having a shell on I'm like man y'all sorry but I was shocked. I drove over here after work. And um, I got here too early to get the dinner buffet because I, I only want to come here for seafood. And so the lady told me, she was like, 3.30? I'm like, oh my gosh, I got time to kill. I'm like, how can I kill some time? And I'm like, well, I was going to Dollar General tomorrow. I was going to Dollar General tomorrow. So that y'all, I got this little strip of for the, the di you know, my deals and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I don't have a Walmart where I live at, so I'm just gonna go to the Walmart over here. Um, I went to Walmart to kill some time. And I'm telling you, y'all should have seen how many times I walked up and down that aisle looking for those pillows. Man, I thought I was insane. I mean, I don't know, maybe I should wipe it off with, I don't know, I've been looking at my hands now. I'm gonna just do it like this. Whew. All right, so, but anyway, I went in there and I found some, oh, I found some broth, pho broth, beef broth on sale. Yeah, let's get some rain. Are we gonna have some scattered showers and we're gonna have rain rain? 
We're gonna have scattered showers. We're gonna have rain. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I can't wait to do that. I think it was a dollar eighty-eight cent. I say it was a sale lot, but I think I only say thirty-five cent. <laughs> It was on that discontinued um, end cap at Walmart. So, anyway, nothing in there. Let's see some of these, but these are hot. So you get your little short leg and you get all that meat out of there. And that's the biggest piece of meat that you're gonna get out of these blue crabs. Ooh, don't fall. Don't fall. Y'all, I've hurt my wrist. I've hurt my wrist. Well. Now that it just hit me that I have on a white shirt, I'm probably gonna get something on my shirt. You know, it's like they made the drink and then put the ice in it because the drink is hot at the bottom. So I have to pull the straw to the top. Oh. That's how you know you have like soft crab though because The meat don't come out when you break each leg. Oh yeah, just in case anybody needs a reminder. If you if you guys have to renew your insurance benefits at work, it's a big possibility. Uh, it's a big possibility that the deadline is approaching to renew for 2025. If you need to sign in the paperwork, make any changes, go ahead and get it done now. Thank me later. <laughs> yep, I almost missed our deadline in my job. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Mm -hmm. I almost missed it, but <laughs> it's amazing that you can get a cost of living increase. <laughs> it's like the cost of living increase comes and then the insurance benefits go up. Like, where they do that at? I think my waitress want to get in the camera, y'all. She came and did like this. I guess it's I was on live. <laughs> but, anywho. What I was saying. Yeah, when you get these cost of living increases. And you be like, okay. That just gave me an extra $42 a month. Did I get an extra $42? Was it? I think when I figured it out, but we're gonna say 42 because I think it was listening. And then what happens is you get that little cost of living and then boom, here come the insurance going up. It's like, come on. I mean, Lord, I thank you for the little extra piece of change, but you know, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not gonna say I don't get excited, but you know, it's like, you just gotta be prepared. When you get that little cost of living increase, y'all, put it away. Put it away. I was listening to Charles and White's interview with Tasha Curry, and he made this statement. They was talking about presidents, which I'm gonna say something about that later. About the the election, right? Don't y'all click off. I'm not getting ready to get deep into politics. Okay, let's just. But anywho, but Charleston said something interesting that. He was like, the thing about it was the world, you know, America, we weren't prepared for, I want to say the world. A lot of people, the issue with the pandemic 
is that a lot of people weren't prepared for something like this. You hear what I'm saying? Like you're not used to something like this happening. I gotta sit back and hold on. Because I gotta kind of slouch down and I hate that because okay, I'll be like this. Okay, so anyway, um, you kind of have to. They were saying that you know, he was just like the pandemic happened the way it happened. You know, the results of it was because people aren't typically prepared, and that is true because everybody, you know, like everybody wasn't prepared for a situation of. What if I don't have a job tomorrow? What if what if they tell us we can't go to work? What if, you know, what if this shut down? What if that shut down? We weren't prepared. So do you do you think that you are more prepared now? Um let me say this. I just thought about something. But anyway. Let me say this that if hmm, I forgot what I was at. <laughs> but you know, just be prepared. You know, just being prepared. So now I mean that that made sense to me though. Because that's pretty much people, a lot of people weren't prepared for that. But with that being said, are you prepared now? And what had just came to me, but what just threw me through my train of thought of y'all, I'm just tearing this train of thought. Is that you know those people that are always ready for the what is it called? Apocalypse? Or basically like the end of the world or something like that, and they just like have have like panic rooms full of food and water and you know just they just stay ready so they don't have to get ready you know what i bet you them people was not bothered at all because them people have a little stash of money and all that now i am i'm not that ready that's why i kind of hear the tell like you know what <laughs> because more than financially being ready you just gotta be ready ready for something like that because we've watched movies about stuff like that and we've been like, oh, it's a movie. <laughs> I don't know why I am. So, mm -hmm. that's not even what I was gonna talk about. <laughs> mm -hmm. But getting back to what made me start talking about that, That if at all possible, if you do get like a little cost of living increase, and most of the time cost of living aren't real big. You don't post drink drinks like this that fast, but I do it. But anyway, most of cost of living increases aren't that big. If you've been able to manage this is just my suggestion. If you get one, a little pay raise, you know, the little 25 cents they give. And I haven't been in that part of the corporate world in a long time though, but anyway, if you're able to survive off of what you're currently making, meaning, I mean, I say survive, like, you're doing pretty good, you know? Take that, when you get that cost of living increase, whatever that is that you're getting every month, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, reward yourself. Give yourself half of it, put the other half away. But I suggest, because for me, my thing was, mm -mm. I'm doing some 403B investing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, I'm gonna get me a little portfolio together, but it's just the fact that if you can afford it, and clearly, like, if you get a cost of living, you've already been making money, and you've been doing pretty good, 
Unless it's like a massive, massive raise, and yeah, you know. But if you like, okay, and you comfortable, and that little extra forty dollars a month, come on. Give yourself twenty if you don't want to put the whole thing away. Give yourself twenty. Put that twenty back. It's gonna add up because you've been living off of it. That's why I feel like put the whole thing. You've been living off of what you're already making. And then. And I be telling y'all about doing the little change hat. That works. So don't ever think like, you know, like when you see me like outside and whatever. Mm -mm, no, no, it's like, yeah, I had to save up. I had to do a little extra, you know, cut from here, cut from there. But that change hat come that really comes in handy. Meaning like, okay, hey, when you go out shopping, when you spend when you spend cash and you get your um hey, that is in the way. Um I was trying to get this out of the frame. What else? But anyway, you know what I mean? Like, you put all the change away. Don't spend any of your change. Like, even if you got 99 cent back in change, put the change away. Save all your change. Only spend paper money. You see how much money you have at the end of the month? <clears throat> I think it just happened. It happened. Oh, I'm getting full, y'all. Uh... Man. It's so hard to eat these shrimp on camera. I need to take y'all to go see the buffet. The shell is so stuck on here. That's just like, if you let these get cold, the shell on, oops. I'm okay as long as I see the pool. I'm not going to that. Man, that might smell good. Oh yeah, these these fried ones got in this sauce. That's what's making it hard for them. Mm-hmm. That flavor good though. Yeah, by that shell getting wet, it's hard to get it off. But this sauce that's on there is so good anyway. Mm. I can eat the shell. I can eat the shell, but the legs be creeping me off. And I mean, I've been, I've not been eating them, but I'm not gonna creep out. Wait a minute. But I done had juice wine all down. Well, that's it for this shirt. Y'all ain't gonna see this shirt no more. Come on, let me.
When I come to these places, this is the only thing I eat. The only thing. Only thing I be wanting is seafood. And I might eat hibachi, but I'm like, you no. Know, I'm paying all this money because seafood on this birthday. Okay. Got two now this one was cooked different. Ooh. Ooh, spicy. Oh, spicy. This is the one that was in the Cajun seafood border that you had in. Yeah. Every now and then, you gotta make sure you pay attention to your surroundings. Let me tell y'all something. It's such a blessing that my new friends, <laughs> first of all, tolerate me. First of all, first of all. Um, <laughs> but. Let me tell y'all something. Hold on, let me change this up. I'm cool. Okay, I'm back. So, what I was saying, what was I saying? Oh, it's cool, like, you know, you have that those friends. Like, when you have, like, that group of friends that, like, they all serve a purpose, what my purpose is. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I do I feel like you're about to be like a baby. But <laughs> but like I like um the fact that you have like you can take that that alert for him that I already don't peep the situation before the situation even popped down. Or I already peeped the situation before you could. And then when you be like, girl, did you, did you see her? She was like, oh, girl, I already noticed. When he came in the door, he was in here and he was fumbling with his pants and I already knew he had. Right. Honey, that's a blessing right there because y'all know I be kind of slow skit sometimes. And I really shouldn't be like that considering that lady came and took my plate, so I had to use a napkin. You know, considering I be out and I'm out a lot, but, so I should be getting so skin. I should be paying attention to what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But, See, do I need to recap something for y'all? Make sure that you're pandemic ready, okay? Just always be prepared for the pandemic, okay? I think that's just a good thing. Meaning like, you know, hey, can you afford? Cause you know the grand shut down though. The bills is the, 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 you know, the regular living expenses didn't. But just try to be prepared. Everybody can't afford it, but try to have yourself set up for at least, just always, when I say the pandemic, I ain't even talking about C something like C-19, you know? I mean, something even to the extent, uh, if you lost your job, like, that's the pandemic. You know, you feel me? that like I just feel you should always have with well, the way the economy is now I used to that one week of pass the way the economy is now you need a month for pay but at least try to push for two weeks Oh, well. 
see, I, I, this is all I be looking for, the little short one right here, see? This is the short leg, this is the short one. And then you can cook these too long, too. Come on. Baby, that's J Lo. <laughs> the fact that we just did this stuff. Oh, look, see that came out like that. I feel like with this lawsuit with the charges and everything. I don't feel like that stuff go way back as to during Jennifer Lopez time. If you think about the stuff that's been up in the documents and stuff right now. Mm-mm. That didn't go, um, just, I'm not saying what he did didn't go that far back, but I think she's gonna be all right because with the stuff in the paperwork is really only referencing one person. Before like the dinner, dinner, the real dinner crew come in here. Cause y'all know I came in here the top of the dinner. But when that's six o'clock, baby, when you got to stand in the line and get um <laughs> crowd, I'll be with that. No, I don't be with that because it be making somebody be making me want to push it, push them like that. Uh huh. And they standing there because you be done stood in that line waiting for the blue crowd. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. Stood in that line waiting on the blue crowd, right? And that person in front of you have the audacity to put so many blue crab on their plate to where they got to hold their plate like this and then it's like hardly any left. And you just wanna, yeah, just loosen it. Be like, you know better. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, Shit, they done paid for the stuff, so. Not good, but. Mm -mm. Come on, be like, be considerate. You know what I used to do? I used to use my girls. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, go stand up there. God forgive me. This one they used to have a snow crab on the birthday. And baby, these little joints don't be doing it anymore. No but I'll be like, hey, baby, here, snow crab. No in the buffet. No mm -hmm. hey, no. There's your old breed ready to go stand up there in that line for me, baby. And guess what? And they do it with no, no lip. No lip. They do it no lip. They go stand right there. And then sometimes. <laughs> They stay there so long, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go uh, relieve them. Y'all, I be like, dang, I don't let my baby stand out there so long. Now nah, I can see them, so don't nobody be like, oh, she's such a bad person. Somebody could have snatched their kid. Trust me, first of all, they the brought mine back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Imani would have cried so much till they'd have just aggravated. She just aggravated the people. And Deja would have been like trying to overanalyze the situation and then the quietness would have just kind of got to you. And then when she hit you with the the, the, the whole intelligence of the whole breakdown and the whole analyzing of the situation, you'd be like, look, 
No, I don't know. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> yeah, like if I was a K I D N A P P E R, I would be like, mm, no, let me take you on back. Um, uh, no, I don't know. Like, it, it's like it, the thrill is gone because she done hit you with something like that done made you think, and you just like, yeah, so. But I'm not saying my other baby, when I intellectual love like her in a situation like that, you know. She would have cried so much. But I'm gonna tell you though, she will manipulate them. <laughs> She'd have been able to probably get out of it. They wouldn't have sent her back. She'd have got away. Yeah, she'd have got away. But y'all, I'm getting ready to get up off of here. I'm getting ready to go get my next round. And I'm just so worried that when I do get ready to edit this video and stuff, that my head is cut off. But hey. Y'all just came here for the food, right? Y'all know this head big, so it was so much else in the frame, you know. But y'all have a good one. Remember, it's fun over here. 